Hi, my name is Richard Bilderbeek and I'm going to do exercise 3 of my lesson on Mermaid. So my lesson on Mermaid is here. It's a uh, Mermaid allows you to create graphs with a markup language. I'm going to do theory uh, exercise 3, publishing a graph. But we're going to publish a Mermaid graph on GitHub. Um, the graph itself is important, so we can pick our favorite ones. I'll, I'll, I'll put in something. Step 1. Create a GitHub account. So for that you go to github.com and there you have a different screen because I have already logged in. Instead you need to create your account. I cannot do that for you. Uh, you have to create your account. It's just f f filling in stuff. It's free. Next step. Create a, Git, a new GitHub repository and add a check to create readme.md. Right, I can do that. I'm going to put this to the left of the screen. I put the exercises back. Here we are. And we're going to drag this tab to there. So drag this thing here to the right. So at the left we have the access, at the right we have a GitHub. And we need to create a new repository. So just looking from here, you can't see it very well uh, because they, they, they both change size. But here you click on create new and then you click on new repository. Sure, so I've, I'm, I'm working on this now. And let's take a look. The exercise said something about add a check to create readme.md. Alright, so we need to create a new repository. I have no idea what this is. I'm going to call it uh, Pentagon Hack. Pentagon Hack. Pentagon Hack. Uh, you can give any name. It should be public. Here, add a readme file. That's what they meant. And then except for this, that's the only thing you need to do. Bam! Created. So now I have created a GitHub repository called Pentagon Hex. There's a typo, I really don't care about that. Um, and we're going to go to move on to the next. Your own GitHub repository now shows its readme file. So you can see this. There's a, these are all the files in my repository in this, this little box. You can see at the top, you can see who did the last changes to the files. That was me. And all the files is one file it's called readme.md. And here in this little box, we see that file. We need to edit this file and here there's a, a pencil there. So we're going to click on this to edit it. And we need to in the editor put your markdown mermaid markdown in a mermaid code block like this website does. Mm -hmm. I need to copy paste this. There. Alright, I need some mermaid code. Let's go to uh, mermaid.live and we just can take whatever we get. There, all right, there is a diagram here. Let's see, all right, I'll just copy paste this stuff. Put it here. Yeah, so I'm happy this is mermaid code. Click on commit, there, commit changes. Click on commit changes again. And it should show my mermaid graph. It does. Well, well done. So here I've showed you how to do exercise 3, publishing a graph on GitHub um, using Mermaid. Uh, it was a Mermaid graph. Uh, so I, I did it. I wish you a very good day. Bye.